Okay, we're live. Okay, we're live. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Welcome in Veldak. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. You must be joking. Sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Turtle, welcome in. Triple F in six hours, uh, six days, four hours, indeed. Mr. Navco, welcome in. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome to episode six million of space exploration. All right. Uh, what should we, what should we focus on today? Oh, there was something I didn't have time to fix at the end of yesterday's stream, right? What was it? Some, what was the last little project that we noticed needed our attention, I wonder? Are these not running? No SIG data. Uh, we did just fix SIG data. It was just that there was no provision to pick this stuff up with long trains. Uh, that's a lot of SIG data in the wrong container. Let's go do something about that. It's just over here. Dino B. Dancing. Oops, uh, I guess we don't need the starting soon. And even Distro. Probably should have checked that there was room for everything. At least there was room in my pockets. Let's just fill those out. It's actually still too full because there's too many blank cards. Oh no. Well, I was going to say, there's too many blank cards now. It looks like that's going to sort itself out somewhat. I guess we can just wait for this train and then we can get rid of this. Fantastic. Uh, this always spits out more sick data than blanks, right? Apparently not. How did I... Oh, I see. It's just a priority pickup. We didn't... There's no recycling of the blanks on, on site. It's a very straightforward recipe. Maybe... This should probably... Well, I probably said to myself, it's not spitting out blanks that fast. It actually can. We should probably have more storage space for blank data cards here. I don't have a splitter on me. I wanted to put a splitter so that we could use all of this storage space. Scobix, RF Holloway. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, no, it seems to be sorting itself out in any case. Anyway, we probably already have enough seek data over here as evidenced by the bots being in motion. Why did we just dip to 26? Okay, so what demands our attention next? Current bottleneck on science is Bio 4, because we broke Bio 4 by not letting short trains pick up certain things, uh, and now it's playing catch-up. Vitalik reagent. I have a sinking feeling that that actually is a material shortage. Looks like it is. Uh, Vitalik reagent. Oh yeah. But there's tons of it in these other stations. So what gives? I know this one's slightly hot. Uh, doesn't need a 60k provide threshold. Um, do we really need a 200 provide stack threshold here? In any case, there's definitely 370 stacks of 
Vitalik reagent here, so why isn't it being picked up? Provide stack threshold 200. 320 plus 50 stacks. Short trains allowed, long trains allowed. Uh, surely we're not out of LTN trains. No, not even close. So... So what? Why, why are we not delivering... Okay, one sec. Fan might be starting to die, and the sound is a bit distracting. All right, fifteen uh, k. That's three train loads. We're trying to put three train loads of Vitalik reagent upstairs, right? And wait, we're reading it from here. We're sending that information downstairs. We've only got 81 stacks. Which is 4,050. I mean... I don't think that requester is the problem, because it's been working. Why would it only work with this one station? Did we put the wrong... Provide stack threshold, no? Or what if what if we lower it? This shouldn't make a difference, but... We're just trying to... Eliminate the variables here. It's not like on a different... Encoded network ID. Hi, it looks like you didn't make the same mistake I did first time in orbit. Forgot to put a landing pad down before using the rocket, came back down to... came back down in Bida Central. Indeed. Panzerwolfen, welcome in. Why are the trains not picking this up? This is connected, right? I... So a train load is 5,000, 100 times 50. Provide stack threshold, 100. There's a lot more than 100 stacks here. This one does work, by the way. It's, it's exactly the same. The only difference is this says minimum train length 4, but... It probably shouldn't. Also... This is copy-pasted. This one has the same settings as the one on the right over here. Except there wasn't a priority. Why are they not picking up? Also, where is this going? Oh, this goes back up here. That's why that one's empty. Well, part of why that one's empty. Don't they all go back... This one is presumably... Yeah, this is the priority pickup for the Vitalik Epoxy as well, that's why. Because we've got higher tier prod modules in these machines. But I, I don't see a single reason why the trains aren't picking up from the lower priority, normal priority, uh... Train stops here. Fifteen thousand is three hundred stacks, which is three train loads. Um, the amount that we've actually got minus the request 
currently is... Uh, oh, it's only looking for 4.3k. Why is that? We definitely don't have a train load here. What is this doing here? Oh. I I see how it is. This is left over from when we transferred the stuff. Well, there's your problem. All right, let's go do something about it. Well, you got me there. I didn't expect stuff to be in the drop. I don't think that was left over from when we brought it here. Yeah, no, I forgot to... Uh, that means we're going to have to do the same thing here for all... All of these stations. Because if we're going to do the make it compatible with short trains thing for any one with the belt method uh, on this line, then we're going to have to push the contents of this container back into here as well. Is that how I did it? At the other blocks? Yeah, it kind of is. Okay. Do the loaders on the station really outbalance the inventory one day? When I tried that, the inventory stayed the same, as in output is the same speed. Do the loaders on the station outbalance, auto balance? Uh, well, what we're doing here is pushing everything to the back cargo wagon and then to the front cargo wagon. And we limit the uh, container space for the one that's going into the front. I don't know if that answers your question. I'm not entirely clear on what the question is. Uh, but yeah. So this was, this was a mistake from... from when we changed this over to make it so that this was short train compatible. Thank you? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Jörg, welcome in. So that band account was created 15 minutes ago, already suspended. Nice, thank you, Veldak. Okay. Now, do we need to do anything else to fix this? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's going to sort itself out now. Okay, cool. Which means bioscience is going to be in motion once again. We do need to port this over to use the loaders like we did with the... Uh... Like we did with Deep Space 4. Because uh, the superior inserter can't actually keep up with uh, like 43.2 items per second or something. Even though it should. Well, if it, if it was direct insertion and it picked up everything from, that it needs from the belt in one frame, uh, it would keep up. 3.6 swings per second times 12. But obviously it's not quite, uh, not quite that fast grabbing items off the belt. And I have a sinking feeling that porting this over is going to be a little bit more complicated. No, it shouldn't be that bad. It is going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, uh, why don't we just jump into the editor first? And we'll put these two side by side. And that'll be much easier to mess around with. So first of all, just shove these in here. Might just copy paste that insert uh inserter combinator setting. And I'm 
pretty sure all the belts and stuff should line up in the same way as before. All the, uh, no, not quite all of the input-output belts because Bioscience 4 is a little bit special. Uh, that's going to make it a bit more of a pain. Okay. Well, first of all, why don't we cut off the supply? So that there won't be as much stuff left on the belts. As we start tearing this up to put it back in. Um, and we're obviously going to have to change these filters. This doesn't have a filter. It's set filters blacklist. Okay. Uh, you're going to be bio 1. Bio 2. That's an input. Bio 3. And bio 4. Uh, this one doesn't change. This one doesn't change. Broken data cards? Okay, we're not making broken data cards. With this build. I guess I can get rid of that. Yeah. Wait, where... Where do the broken data cards come in? With this build. Okay, they are there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, it, all of these do. Okay. Um, we don't need these extra pipes. And... I guess the rest of that can stay the same. Except for some of the filters, of course. Alright, so you are Bio 4. Uh, Bio 3. Bio 2. And Bio 1. Quick random question, can you make a rail line that shoots trains into space? Uh, if you mean the space elevator, then yes. If you mean, like, as a projectile, uh, I don't think so. Alex Glitch, welcome in. Alright, so I, th I guess that's basically our build. Plus or minus a little mistake or two. Something that needs changing. Got plenty of room in our inventory. Why don't we just grab all this stuff? Not gonna worry about every drop of thermo fluid. And see how this lines up. Well, first of all, this has got to go. And then it looks like the rest just fits. There might be an underground or two that doesn't make sense. Might be a few, actually. So over here we've got... Something like this. I should replace the plating. I don't have it, though. Alright, fine. Let's bring the floor train over. Update this a little bit. Pick up anything that we want to with our bots before the train gets here. Uh, I don't really see anything. Looks like we need more belt as well. That part can just stay where it is. And let's 
Well, it's just going to have something similar. Can we just place a uh, plating like this? It won't be placed under the bulk rail loader, it looks like. I guess we won't be able to see the difference. We don't need this uh, output station down the bottom right, but other than that... Where did my copy-paste just go? Bruh. Guess I'll do it this way. Copy... no, not like that. Just drag it across. Surely a game of this caliber could do with a railgun? Uh, it does have a railgun. Alright. Update some of those floor tiles and show us where the rest of this stuff goes. That needs to go over here. Is the train not in range to pick that up? Oh, it did. Sneaky. And be gone. Wait, what is that piece of floor for? Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't put these back where they belong. Should probably get on that. Although this is already mostly filled up. Okay, first things first. Um... Should probably copy from here. So we just need a red wire going from this container back to central, basically. And I guess we're piggybacking off of this train stop to make it happen. And no settings. And then should be the exact same layout for these other ones. And this one? Did I rotate that wrong? Yeah, I did. Uh, except this is going to be in the way. We can make that work. Okay. Where does this connect? Way over here. Oh, right. Alright, that looks pretty symmetrical. Don't really need that wire there. Okay. Might want to get the construction train over here. We are carrying the white belt, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Now, do we need to do anything different? Yeah, we do. Uh... We don't have to use as many pipes, so we can make room over here for the third input, the extra solid input for the core franks. Oops. So that can just be put in the usual spot. And how about here? I'll 
not good. Where's our construction train? It's not carrying... Oh, it's a... It's a tier 1 compact beacon. We don't carry those anymore. Is this tuned for like 3 per second already? Technically. Um... I guess I'll go back for the compact beacon. Let me just drop this stuff off. I guess shift C will do the trick. Much nil jetpack. Can I use this while I'm flying? I can. But I just get put on the floor by the spaceship floor anyway. I don't... I think that's probably why. I don't think the teleporter... To, ooh. That's a bit more tier 9 module than I was expecting by now. Alright, anyway. Um, where's compact beacon tier 1? I think that's just made automatically. I think we used to have a dedicated little build for it. Compact beacon uh zero apparently why 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 do we have no regular compact beacons i'm pretty sure they're a prerequisite for the beacon twos they are oh it's like there's like two different compact beacon symbols for some reason. So it's this one. Cool. Alright, back we go. And boop. And that should be our... I was going to say that should be our target speed. But we've still got tier 3 beacons... Uh, modules in these things. Actually, I bet the deep space science is slower, so this is way faster than it needs to be. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we have to stress too much about this one. Alright. Um, let's turn these around and find out if we're missing anything else that we need to put back where it belongs. Judging by the fact that we're making Deep Space Science 4, probably not. Are we putting anything on this belt that's not supposed to be there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, yes, hold on. Wait, no, I don't think this is... Yeah, this inserter shouldn't even exist. It's not that we need to change the filters. Because we're using a loader to output them at this point. Uh, does that mean there's anything on the belt already that's not supposed to be? Not that I can see. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm confused. Oh. Was this just kind of left over? No, I see how it is. This outputs after the filter. Do we even need that though? What do all the outputs add up to? Not that much. I get the feeling that these were left over as we iterated through some modifications and are not actually needed. So what if what if we don't filter these outputs? What 
what then? Uh, also, we need to change these settings. Will you stop the belt if Bioscience 2 is less than or equal to zero? In other words, if there's 10,000 in the storage. Bioscience 1. Bioscience 3. And bio... Bioscience 4. Why are we stopped? Is it just because we're catching up with all the junk to output? No. How fast does this eat? Oh, you're joking. 141 <laughs> vitalic reagent per second. The whole point of this exercise was now we've got loader belt input. Um, but with these modules, this is way faster than it needs to be. We're aiming for three per second of any type of bioscience, right? And two becomes... Four becomes... Six becomes eight. Yeah. So these with the same speed will support each other. So really, we just need the first one to be able to do like three per second. Wait, that's not right. Wait, do any of the endgame sciences want anything less than tier 4? Like the infinite sciences? How far do we have to go for infinity here? Very far, apparently. No, this is 2 infinity. Bioscience 4. Deep space 3. Hmm... Okay, so I'd still like the, uh, theoretically, the first tier to be able to do three per second. Four point five. I don't think we need the beacon in this case. I think these modules are going to be way... Uh, it's actually slightly slower than we need. So what, like three speeds in this one? 3.7 is more than fast enough. Minus 80, plus 200. Okay. And... All of these should be one to one. Cool, cool, cool. But how fast does this theoretically consume? 74... Per okay, we're not going to get it close to never stuttering without a lot of belt, and I don't think that's worth worrying about. Because this would spit out almost three times our target, Bioscience Pack 3. If we, if we get this down to three per second... Oh, that's still more than three per second. Um, we're only looking at 24 per second. It's 3.6. Uh, 24 times 0 0.83. 19.92. Okay, so the white half belt could support our target here. That's fine. I guess we don't need speed modules in probably any of these except for the first one. No, we do need like maybe one speed in here. 4.8. That's kind of weird. Vitalic creation goes brr. It really does. Inri Inri, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. 
Good to see you again. Now, why are we not... Oh. That's why we have the inserters. Because we still have to spit out the uh, junk cards. If we're only making Bioscience 1 to support Bioscience 2. Okay. Alright. So past me wasn't crazy. Bio 2. Bio 3. Bio 4. And we're going to do some long filter inserters. Uh, here. 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 And here, which is going to be the same, but blacklist. That should be bio 4. Bio 1. Uh, and bio 2. Okay. Okay. The science continues. And now instead of the machines stuttering and stopping and starting... Uh, each of them individually is running continuously. Well, until their output is saturated, that is. We're actually not putting in Vitamolange extract fast enough. 37 per second. We could just make this deep space belt. Can't use an upgrade planner for that. Okay. I'm sure we don't need it for the catalogs, but... We'll do it anyway. And one more. That should saturate. That's a better looking bottleneck. Cool, cool, cool. So we should be able to expect 4.8 per second, which is, you know, more than our target. Uh, assuming we don't run out of materials. Uh, and downstairs, there should be a bit of a run on Vitalik Reagent. Or maybe not. Yeah, that, uh, not a lot, actually. Not as much as I thought. How many prods did we uh, save up for the moment? 24 plus... Click 45. Uh, 69. Nice. Should we go and prod all the Vitalik Reagent? 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 20... We need 60. But more Vittle Melange means more prod modules. So let's go do it, I think. Also, it'll be nice to just not have to remember to change that ever again. Back we go. Zern, welcome in. Okay. I'm certainly glad for the lack of a need for an extra pipe compared to deep space science. Just so we have room for this anomaly right here. Speaking of which, I can't remember how we're bringing the Vit core fragments upstairs. Um, did we actually patch that into the new system? Or is there a dedicated train doing that still? I think there still is a dedicated train just for this. 
Vitamalunge. There is. Well, I guess we can leave it be for now. Otherwise, I'd just be jamming it into here somewhere. It would be a little bit unsightly either way. Okay. Now, I wanted to test if... Why do I have junk cards? Bio catalogs. And nano material and all sorts of things. If we fly and teleport, I imagine we do continue flying. We do. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take these prod modules. Over to our Vitamalange builds. And go ham. Is that a chemical plant? Yeah. Uh, and centrifuge. Centrifuge, where art thou? Wunderbar. Oh, uh, I guess. Did we already put the high tier. Speed and efficiencies here, we did. Nice. Don't need to redo the beacons. Oh. Wait, were the centrifuges already done? I forgot about that. So we've actually got way more prod modules than we think. Cool, cool, cool. Let's kill the priority on these. Uh, not sure why we need a 202 stacks before we pick this stuff up. 202? That is very oddly specific. I'm just gonna make it like 110 because of the belt. Like we should do here. Short trains or long trains are fine. And just copy that over this way. Cool, cool, cool. So this whole thing is never ever in need of an upgrade again. What's what are we short on? Lithium chloride. Still. Um I could double this build like I thought about doing before. Apparently we're still not pumping the mineral water fast enough. Even though there's just pumps and pumps and pumps down the input side here. There's not an insignificant amount of mineral water here. How fast are we going through it at max rate? 3.3k per second. Jeebus. It looks like we have no shortage of hydrogen chloride. Yeah, no, we're not we're not struggling for that. It's basically just sand and water. And a lot of machines. Oh, the old hydrogen chloride build is still here. We could probably empty this out now. Um, honestly, all this stuff is so cheap, I think we could just delete it. It's not even that much sand. Okay, one less old build, but what are we going to do about this? Do we need more mineral water? 
Well, we can turn matter into mineral water, although it does cost us a little bit of other stuff, which we are doing at a ridiculous pace already. If it weren't for having to swap these uh, matter stabilizers back and forth, well, they basically just have to be recharged. We don't create destroyed ones. They just disappear. Hmm. I'm tempted to redo... Uh, redo this build. But with matter as an input instead of... Instead of, uh... Mineral water, if it turns out... Yeah, 10 matter turns into 100 mineral water. And considering the ludicrous rate that we have to push the mineral water around, I think this makes a ton of sense, actually. For the end game. Let's design it. Let's spend a little bit of time tidying up, because there's a lot of clutter in the editor space. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a bit of mineral water? Yeah, it is. There's going to be like, what, 330 matter per second, which is just super easy. I mean, we still have to pump the mineral water around at a pretty high pace at the side of the build, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. This is taking longer than I thought. Maybe there's a train uh, traffic jam. There we go. Let's just check on our trains. Yes, yes there is. This is what we were trying to fix at the end of the last stream. I remember now. Alright, can I get rid of this sand? Let's just drop it off over here. Sand does not go here. Where, where can I drop off sand? Is there any room in here? I doubt it. Um... Over here. Fantastic. Okay. I've got some bots on me. I'll just give it to the construction train. Yeah, if it takes a million years uh, for the game to catch up when you add or remove a rail signal, Suspect that there's a lot of trains that are stuck in a traffic jam. Because the reason there's a stutter after a critical mass, whenever you put down or remove a rail signal, it's because every train in the game is repathing. What's this mod for the editor? It's called Editor Extensions. And if you want... um. If you want that editor space that's, like, parallel to a normal save, uh, what you're going to want is mod settings, per player tab, and it's called lab, testing lab. Uh, just put it on anything but off. Thank you, Veldak. Okay, so that should resolve this... Uh, This traffic jam. Because the reason we have a traffic jam here is the trains that are trying to give this one petroleum were blocking it. Wait, were those... Oh, that makes sense. How are you not full? You are full. Do we still have problems over here? Oh my god. Um, 
I think that's probably... Probably a property of being blocked by the other traffic jam that caused this to happen in the first place. Maybe, I hope. We might have to just set a train limit of one, an uh, LTN train limit of one, for the fluid wagons. And then I wouldn't have had to build this. But I kind of want to see how it goes from this point. It's doing it because it's playing catch-up. Because it was jammed before. Also, I'm pretty sure we only have one train with the uh, schedule here. To take up petroleum, etc. Petroleum and lubricant. It's only two fluid types. I have my... Uh, we do go through a lot of petroleum to make um, chemical gel, right? 2k per second, if this is going at max rate, which it shouldn't have to. But, okay, maybe maybe we should duplicate this schedule. I'm pretty sure there's only one train doing this. Uh, yeah. Alright, in that case... Just like that, but with fluid wagons. And where's our train? Here it comes. I just want to click on it. Shift, shift, right click. Did I get it? I think I should just wait till it gets here. Don't tell me that's it there. No. Even after we added extra places for the trains to stop. Okay, fine. We're going to change this to have LTN train limit 1. Which is to say we only want one train. Well, maybe two. Maybe two would be okay. Yeah. Let's go LTN train limit 2. So we only have one train parked here and one train waiting to park here uh, at any given time. That would also include trains that are on the way to this spot. But that should be more than enough to keep up with a couple or more vanilla scheduled trains taking stuff upstairs. Um... So now we just have to resolve this little traffic jam yet again. Uh, and I do think I want to copy this schedule. And give it some equipment. Fantastic. Why do we not have charged power packs? Uh oh. Um, that seems like a problem. They're all putting them in the same one. That didn't help. Okay, do you have any? Okay, you do. That's fine. Just delete the bot request there. Alright, go pick up some petroleum and or light oil. And do we still have a traffic jam? You're still trying to get in place. You can build a depot? How do you prevent cheat items from carrying over from your editor inventory to your normal inventory? Uh, it's just a setting. Uh, mod settings, 
per player, and it's like two items above the testing lab. Just turn off sync inventory and cursor between play modes. I had them spill out of my inventory a couple of times when exiting the editor mode, because when normal inventory was smaller than the editor inventory. Yeah, no, that, that should be the setting. Okay. You're heading up the elevator, and you're heading over here. Maybe I should add some more rail over here. That might be a good idea. No need for power poles or anything, just a couple of straight lines would be a big help. Oops. It's pretty much just for these schedules. That's okay. I was looking at putting some more space elevators up here-ish, but I couldn't find room on both sides for a nice pattern. And no need to worry about the timing, because the train won't go backward. Oh, that's going to be a few more clicks than I thought. Uh, just one more should be fine. I'll try it, no worries. Yep, there we go. That should be all we need. And if our poor little train is still stuck over... No, it's not. It's on its way. And Crynite Train is still doing its thing. On to the next one. So I've only got... Uh, a couple more train loads of petroleum coming right this instant. And like three train loads of Rhinite slush. I'm pretty sure we only... Uh, I'm pretty sure we only need the one schedule to keep up with this. It's just because it's being jammed for a minute, probably. Oh, she blows. Okay. Doesn't look like there's going to be any more traffic jam around here in any case. So I really didn't need to build this extra block over here. Should have just played with the train limits to begin with. That is still a bit of a significant chunk. Just to remove a relatively small number of signals. Be gone. gone. I don't understand why it chunks twice. 
when we mark them for decon and when we actually physically remove them. Alright, there we go. Now, what were we looking at before we got distracted again? Oh, that's right. I wanted to... No, I left some bots on the other side. Rip bots. Uh, I wanted to... Maybe design a new version. For the... Well, now that I think about it... So I was going to say design a new block for lithium chloride, but if the demand for it is so ridiculously high... It's three and a bit stacks per second for each half block here. If they're all going continuously at full pace. Could maybe build it here and just do some direct belting and still make it modular. I don't think there's enough space left over in these blocks for what I'm thinking of. To basically go uh, from matter and hydrogen chloride to lithium, uh, lithium sulfur, li li lithium chloride. Can you tell I don't chemistry uh, to this stuff? But I'm pretty sure we've got a few other consumers of lithclo. Genetic data, lithium itself, and that's it. So in any case, we do need to export it to the rail system. Okay. Regardless, let's see what this is going to look like. So we want the highest tier modules. I think that build was already designed for the highest tier modules. That's why we needed so many pumps to keep up. Um, and then we need a matter assembler. How many... What is this? Get matter from cube, or cube from matter. No, we're good. I mean, we could do ridiculously high density moving around of the stuff that we're going to turn into mineral water. But I think it's already good enough, only 3.30 per second for that block, if it's just liquid matter. And then we don't have to waste naquatide, I think it is, with uh, matter stabilizer switching. Anyway, so we want mineral water. We can't prod this, so we're going to speed it. And the ratio would be... Uh, wow. The ratio would be we can support as many lithium chloride machines as we feel like fitting. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, they're not going to be this close together because we can support a lot more machines with this. 500 mineral water per second versus 16. Uh, and if we give it beacon 2 with all the speeds... Add some efficiencies until our power to crafting speed ratio is a bit more reasonable. Plus 600, plus 1400. So if I go for this, we're still paying 387 megawatts for the matter assembler. No thank you. Maybe we don't put this under the same beacon. Or maybe we just put up with the advanced chem machines being a little slower. Well, no, it should be the other way around, because the matter assembler is way faster than we need it to be. So we'll make the chem machines as fast as we can while still being cheap. Uh, and then we'll just 
remove like one speed module from this and it can still support 1.05k per second and this can do 440 wow that's only that's actually only like one to two uh really can't say i was expecting that let me get this straight without the beacon because this doesn't have any speed. It's like massive negative speed. What's 500 over 16? 31 and a quarter machines this would support. But with beacon... It's only like 2 to 1. Well, that's fine. It's not like the matter assemblers are a big deal. Um... So how should we lay this out? I mean, I could... not put these here directly, because then there'd be no place for the, the other pipe input. I don't really feel like doing something like this. It's kind of wonky. But that comfortably supplies more than enough mineral water for two. Where should we put this? Steel, underground, right. We connect this up here. I guess it doesn't have to be that close together. We will need some... What are they even called again? Uh... Stabilizer charging stations. And we can put speed modules in those. Rate calc tells us nothing if there isn't something in the machine. 7.9 per second. Oh, so they always just recharge. They come out 100%. It's this side where we sometimes lose them. So almost 20% of the time they don't even lose their charge. 80% of the time they come back empty. And 0.1% of the time they're lost. Uh, so how fast is this? Is this the same ratio? It's probably not. This is a bit faster. Wait, no it isn't. Crafting speed, 10.5. Versus... Uh, 10.5. It is the same, surprisingly enough. Except the... Stabilizer charging station over here would be even faster. Because there's more speed modules in the beacon. Basic matter stabilizer. There we go. 9.5 per second. And this just goes through 8.4 per second. Uh, so I guess we'll just make that one to one. We can just direct insert both ways, right? Something like this. I think that's what we did before. Fantastic. And we just need the initial uh, basic matter stabilizers to find their way in here. Are loaders faster than inserters? Yes. They're as fast as the belt. Uh, but that it's not just the throughput where they're faster. Assuming the belt can keep up. Uh, so for something like this, where we have to recycle some of the inputs... Oh, it's actually these two machines recycle inputs with each other, with the beads swapping colors. Uh, what I've got here 
as a system to manage like priority input of the recycled stuff is just simply loaders. Um, so basically, uh, red cadian iron beads come out of this machine uh, and go towards this one. They'll just be sitting here indefinitely until they get eaten up by this input. Um, the inserters won't swing, won't go to pick up these red beads until the amount of uh, ion exchange beads here goes below some threshold. Uh, depending on the recipe, it's usually like three times what you need for a recipe. Uh, but the loader will just keep going until this doesn't accept anymore. Uh, so this insert is not going to swing until this gets low on, on beads. So you've got a kind of implicit priority here. With no circuitry. Interesting, indeed. Okay, what, so what if we double this? Oops. And... So this would be how much? 316 lithium chloride per second. As opposed to... Well, to be fair, this is prod 6s. But I'm pretty sure we built this... We shaped this to be the final build. That's why there's so much empty space on the output belts. Uh, but it's really struggling to keep up with the uh, mineral water throughput. Hence the redesign. So we're going to deliver hydrogen chloride directly because the demand for that is relatively low. It's about a fifth. But after this, the trains will have to come more often to deliver hydrogen chloride than they will to deliver matter that gets turned into mineral water here. This is a rabbit hole that could go pretty deep if you redesign your whole base for higher density throughput all over the place. Well, not, not just throughput, but like higher density stuff that you move around. Uh, I kind of like this layout though. It's pretty, pretty neat. We could maybe even... Get rid of that beacon. This here. And... I mean, we'd have to split it up a little bit for the matter inputs. That's going to get a bit awkward, I think. So how much would this build demand? Only 210 matter per second. 352 hydrogen chloride. And it's going to spit out six and a bit stacks of lithium chloride per second. Could we maybe... What if we put it on its side? Put the drop off here, like we usually do. And I guess we'll put hydrogen chloride here, because it's going to have to be dropped off faster than the matter. And the matter like this. For the millionth time, I wish I'd made these roundabouts slightly bigger than the minimum size, uh, just so that we could fit a huge storage tank on each side. Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, what if we basically put this like so? Can't quite put that perfectly in the middle, sadly. And 
this one. That doesn't quite work. Maybe if I put it further down. No, no, there isn't anywhere where it's going to line up with the middle of the train. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Maybe we do rotate rotate it more like, more like this. Might have to move that a little bit. Oh. Why does that one not reach? It does. A slight asymmetry. Um, I'm not really liking where the hydrogen chloride lines up with this kind of layout. Maybe I should just limit it to... Oh, what if we do quarter block builds? That'll be more train friendly, regardless. So... I could even flip this around. No, that doesn't really work. There isn't a cozy spot to line this stuff up. Uh, but maybe... Maybe we could stick this up, like, here? Kind of like that. Okay... Slightly wonky pipe over there, but it's not that bad. And put a beacon like here. A couple of these over here. That, that's backward, isn't it? A couple of these over here. I guess I actually could make this symmetrical. There's no, there's no reason they have to be right next to each other like that. Just the beacon's going to be slightly wonky, but who cares? Uh, and then... I guess... No, we can't have the side pipe over here. That's kind of awkward. The mineral water's really fast, right? 1.05k per second between these two. That's actually nothing like the headache we're dealing with in the other spot. So, what? Why don't we just make this take up a little more space over here? And then... Hydrogen chloride can go like this. And... That'll be our... I guess we don't need this connection. That'll be our mineral water. 
I don't love this pipe in the middle here, but what are you going to do? It's not that bad. Oh, and the train is also going to have to drop off, uh, what are they called? Basic matter stabilizers. What's the other solid that we're dropping off here? Nothing, right? What, what did the old build have? Fluids only. That simplifies it. Theoretically, I could just direct belt some basic matter stabilizers this way, but... For one thing, we want priority consumption of the basic matter stabilizers that come out of this. And for another thing, we want this to be balanced. I feel like just using bots here. Why can we squeeze in a little roboport? I guess we could have some pseudo-symmetry with these two 4x4s if we do this. As long as it doesn't encroach on another block. And I might even do like four of these in one place. Oh, that's already sticking out over the side. Really? Uh... Since when did we create this gap? It's no problem to fix on this side, but... Not sure what to do over here. Oh. That might be a little bit better. It's a little bit less unsightly. Oh, right, this doesn't work on this side. I guess we could just do this over here. But then, then we've got, like, this sticking out and this one not. Uh, thanks, I hate it. Thank you, I dislike it. Hmm, what if these were down below instead? Something a bit more like... Why, why don't you move? How much is the demand here again? It's only 352 per second. We can... We can do pipes like this. It should be fine. But... Then we have to bring the... God damn it. This is harder than it should be. Just to make it nice and neat. Maybe like this. Uh, that. It's gonna be like that. That's gonna be like that. That's not too bad, I suppose. Then this would have to go way over here. We always put undergrounds here. And we 
could probably squeeze this all the way up this way. And the charging stations. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. It's not that simple. Because we need to prioritize the output from this. I guess I could always just go straight back into the bulk rail unloader. Right? Hold on. When charged basic matter stabilizers come directly out of these things, where do they go? Oh, we do need to put it straight back into a container. Okay then, well if we're going to do that regardless, we could just put like a 2x2 two two over here. It's going to be a little awkward. And I guess we'll have to have some circuit control on this after all. So we always want to recharge these. And... We just want to make sure there's some empty space here, right? That's the only smarts that we need on this. I guess I could just go set filters blacklist. It's the same thing. We need a wire regardless. I guess we don't have to... Don't have to limit it to zero. And then this goes over here. Will it become imbalanced? It won't if... It, it can't matter that much if we allow both sides to consume from both sides. Basically, if, if the right side runs out of basic matter stabilizers, this thing will still run and supply 75% of the machines. And it'll fix itself. And that way we don't have to worry about rebalancing with belts or bots or anything. Seems good. That's not too bad. Jane Matthew, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess we don't need the robo port. Yeah, I, I can live with this. I guess we could move all this down one tile to squeeze the beacon in here. And... Well, if we're going to go that far... We may as well make sure... ...that these are connected... ...both ways. I think we can do that without it looking quite so messy. Oh, yeah, easy. We can literally just connect this over here. So, this output can reach these three machines. And this output can reach these two machines. Which means even if we somehow only had basic matter stabilizers on one side, uh, it'd still keep going until we get low enough to trigger a train delivery. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Let's put in some test inputs in case we've missed anything obvious. Uh, does this... no? There we go. Do we even need tier 6 speed modules? Uh, sorry, tier 9 speed modules in these things? Why is it not... Oh, those are charged. No, stop, 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 halt. Uh, please be gone. I guess I could just do this. We need a basic matter stabilizer and nothing else. Okay, so how fast are these? 8.9 per second. That's fast enough. We don't need to spend tier 9 modules on this. Okay. So now we've got... The basic matter stabilizers, matter, and hydrogen chloride. That should be everything we need. to make lithium chloride. And this one's matter. The matter is consumed at a rate of only 210 per second. So yeah, I, I, I think having the slower train unloader shouldn't really be an issue. And then we should be able to fit standard bulk rail unloader or bulk rail loader rather right about here please tell me the corn is not a pro <laughs> why I guess we could put it a couple tiles further down it's no big deal You need an extra inserter from the chest to the machine for the 19.9% charged stabilizers. True. Thank you. Alright. There's our lithium chloride. And... How fast does it spit out? 80 per second per machine. Okay, we don't need to do a 4 to 4 balancer here if we want to use all this storage space and keep it balanced. Actually, there's no reason to make this available for short trains, right? Pretty sure we haven't done that here. Yeah. So... We're going to need a less complex version of what we're doing here, which is not like an 8 to 8 balancer, but rather... All we need is these two to go to these two, and these two to go to these two. So two splitters. Uh, and then they just sort of crisscross. What would be the most elegant way to fit it? Unfortunately, the undergrounds can't crisscross each other. Uh, what we basically want is like this. Um, I guess... This goes here. Just like that. And... This goes here, just like that. That's not too bad. 
and we can use the full 640 stacks of storage. So now we've got a quarter block that is much more train traffic friendly. Uh, that doesn't need a million pumps to keep the mineral water flowing fast enough to keep the input saturated. That requires far fewer prod modules. Well, I guess we built the other one for max tier modules. Uh, but also... It's much more scalable as well. Far fewer input trains because matter... Matter that we turn into mineral water is ten times as dense. That looks pretty good to me. And I kind of want to make a mirrored version of it as well. So we'll put this here. Um, all of this is going to be... It's going to be what? Exactly the same? Because there's no flipping and mirroring? Oh wait, this doesn't fit... We're going to have some beacon sickness if I put this here. Um, I don't think we can. We're going to have to move the beacon. Oops. I'm sure we can find a way to squeeze it down this way. Let's move that over a little bit. Oh, uh, you're kidding. Wait, no, it's fine. We can move this over one more tile. I guess you can see the flow of uh, the flow of the lithium just that little bit better here anyway. That's fine. Wait, is it going to encroach on the opposite block if we build the same thing down here? I don't think so. Nah, we're good. Okay. Well, I was going to say that means there's no reason for this extra tile here, but I do like the uh, mineral water... The, the matter assemblers being able to reach all of the uh, advanced chemical plants. So that's fine. So then we just do the same input station. Like so. And some basic matter stabilizers. Don't forget these inserters. All of that should be the same, no need to mirror. And then we just do an output station. Okay. How often would trains have to pick up from these individually? Stack size is 50, right? Uh, yeah, 50. Three hundred sixteen point eight. Oh my god. That is still a train every 15.8 seconds to pick up from the quarter block. How fast is this right now? A, a lot faster, so it's still an improvement. I mean, we've got three times as many machines, even though it's prod sixes for the moment. Shouldn't be that surprising. Okay. 
so chain signals. If this is not enough for the end game, I'd be a little shocked. Uh, and then we can basically just copy paste flip this. Fantastic. Look how fast that filled up as well. Okay. So how much is this? 633.6 .6 per second. And how much would these builds eat, theoretically? 693 per second. Damn. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a build here and do some direct belting. So that we don't need quite so many trains to keep up with that. Uh, that said, I have my doubts that we need to be able to support all this. I think we'll just do one half block over here for the moment. Should be pretty overkill. How often do the trains need to come to supply it? I just want to double check that. Uh, the basic matter stabilizers should be practically never. Even if these two were running continuously. Kind of hard to tell. So it's a hundred recipes costs one basic matter stabilizer, right? And crafting speed 10.5. So it's like a bit less than 10 seconds. About 9 seconds to consume one basic matter stabilizer. They come in stacks of 100. We can all but discount that we need to bring these by train. Speaking of which, I wanted to double check, but I think we do... Do we actually supply these by LTN already? No, we don't. We need to patch that over. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. Where the heck are we picking them up again? Yeah, can I can I get my shortcuts right? There we go. Uh, basic matter stabilizer. That just goes into LTN. I think we have the the one vanilla train schedule to just go straight here. So we need to patch it into one of these. Hey, here's one we're not using. One of these blocks. Where did we put it? Oh. Wait. What? Oh. No, I'm still confused. That's all the RGB things. That's all the RGB things. So we were going to use this quarter for... Uh, the 7, 8... The 6, 7, 8 tier modules that we take upstairs. But I've already got this one dedicated train that does all of that. That doesn't wait for a full train load or anything. I don't think I want to change that. So... We'll ditch all of this. And for the moment, we'll just make this bring, or we'll take downstairs. This is for bringing stuff upstairs. What am I thinking? I don't think we've got any empty space at the moment. Uh, I guess maybe we don't need like four of the schedules to move scrap. I'm going to eat those words when we start doing material science again. 
Uh, I don't want to have to have a whole other build or train schedule just for this. Is this the only block we've got for taking things downstairs with the new system? I think it is. Yeah. I wonder if we could squeeze in another one of these, like, right here. Probably could. It's going to be very cluttered on the map. But regardless, it doesn't really affect what I want to do with this build. I think I do want LTN to supply these things. Uh, what am I doing? That's a nice little build, though. Lithium chloride. Provider. Long trains only. 100 stacks. And this one is requesting matter. Uh, hydrogen chloride and basic matter stabilizers. Basic matter stabilizer. Uh, I guess a couple of train loads is fine. And request threshold 60k is also fine. Uh, so we need matter. We can fit 250k. Let's go for like 150. Actually, 100k should be fine. Hydrogen chloride gets eaten a little bit faster. But I'm sure the 100k threshold, which would trigger a delivery when we're down to 40k, is okay as well. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Alright, just delete the cheat inputs. And that's a nice little build. Why is there more stuff down here? Chew. Rouse. Be gone. Hello there, Pospec. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Blueprint. Uh, and we're just going to call this Lithium from Matter. Tiles, train stop names, snap to 86.25.1. And... Not sure where to put this, honestly. I'll just put the tier 9 prod module to show you that this is like an end game build. Because the converting matter directly to make lithium isn't enough of a giveaway. Okay. So we'll deal with the problem of the trains soon. But right now I just want to build this right about here. And direct belt the output to supply this block. So we need uh, 1632 rod 9s. That's not going to be a problem. I 
don't think we're carrying matter assemblers all the time. How much room do we have? Three stacks. Oh, it's split. Let's fix it. But in any case, we can definitely squeeze it in over here. We only needed four, right? Was it stacked to? Ten. May as well just... What are you doing? Oh. We're still moving cryonite. Uh, is something wrong? Do we need another train, or is it just that we're... What the... Oh, it's just pumping right now. Are we just playing catch-up because of the traffic jam that we had? I can imagine falling behind on... Thermofluid. Considering how much of... How much of it there is all over the place. I'm not overly concerned. We'll just leave this as it is for now. We should probably redo Holmium Solenoid. Let's do that next. Onward and northward. Oh, I already had the chem plants. News to me. Apparently I was carrying one white beacon too. For some reason. Okay. And instead of like taking from the containers... I think I'll belt directly from the machines for the extra direct belting. We need a uh, stabilizer charging stations as well. So we need some of this. Uh don't want to leave that on the belt. Wait. There we go. And we're going to work backward from here. I guess this will do. Oh, that actually reaches. Wunderbar. Wait, that doesn't have room, does it? Got like an underground over here. Uh, that's surprisingly tricky. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could like snake it through here. Don't particularly want to. Okay, fine. We'll steal it from the frickin' containers up here. We're producing it so fast all the time, I doubt it would cause any train troubles anyway. Has the exact same bottle belt bottleneck as this area. Needs 180 per second, that's fine. Uh, that should be it then. Oh, except we're not belting it over here. Well, I guess we can let the trains deal with the other half.
I don't know, it feels like a little bit of a waste when we're so close to it. But it's going to be awkward trying to fit more direct belts. Okay, anyway, where are we getting our charges from? We've got plenty. Charger. It's on the way. There we go. And that should be the build. I guess, uh... I guess we could just do, like, the same layout here. Same, same, but different. Wait, 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 wait. And this one goes here. That's pretty cozy. Uh, let's start with this side first. And then these ones would be one tile further down. Ooh, that reaches. Very good. Well, actually... Yeah, this'll do. So then we're going to do the same thing over here. Nice and neat. That'll do. And something similar, but two tiles down over this way. Ooh, that reaches. Nice. So then we just put that over here. And it's pretty clear to see what's going on. Okay. I think we can switch these on now. And then we just have to put basic matter stabilizers into LTN. Which... If, it, if this is going to be the only thing that we have to bring down the elevator, it's not already in that block... This wouldn't fit like this, would it? Not quite. That's a little sad. What's going on here? Oh no. Oh, this is all the old... Oh, that's actually super convenient. Let's head over there now. That's actually... Should help us catch up with all of the old... Scrap trains. Back in just a minute. Okay, so all the trains with this old- no, stop, stop, stop. You were already on manual. Oops. That was lucky. Didn't even crash. Um, yeah, no, all of- uh, let's get rid of this signal. 
So trains can come in, but they can't leave. And then we're just going to get retire these old trains one by one. Try not to die. Fantastic. Blue belt, how cute. In you go. Three more. Uh, my bags are full. That's a lot of charged space train power packs as well. Uh, I guess I'll toss them in the trash slots. We had a shortage in the mall for the charged packs at the moment. I'm not sure why. We did have a problem which was self-inflicted where trains ran out of fuel earlier, but I think... Yeah, we've definitely caught up with that. If all of these blue chests visibly have uh, space train power packs in them, then we're good. I still don't understand how... Well, I guess there's only one machine charging the packs at the mall. Even so, there's almost never any demand for it at the mall. It should only be when we create a new train or go back and forth to the mall, like using the construction train. And yet it looks like... Oh, we do have a few. Okay, that's something. Not sure what led to running out of them, to be honest. So is that the end? I'll just leave this here, and then we'll decommish after we're sure that there's no more trains coming to drop this stuff off. Cool, cool, cool. What I might do, instead of uh, doing something sketchy or creating a new block just to deal with this one item that's coming down the space elevator is I might swap... where the heck is it? I might swap one of these schedules that bring scrap as well as other things to bring the uh, basic matter stabilizers as well. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, welcome in also. A little bit hard to see the blue text on the black background there. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, get rid of these. Get rid of most of these. And I think there was some stuff left in the train that wasn't supposed to be. Oh, that looks okay. Did we already fill this with modules? We did. Oh no. No, 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 no. Bad. Uh, apparently we didn't get matter delivered here, so that, that's good in this instance. But I forgot to put the wiring in so that we put the right fluids in the right place. What's the end goal of this map? Uh, three per second signs, no matter what research we're doing, or for how long. Efficiency? t hacks already won, indeed. Alright, so... It doesn't have to be a red wire, it's just a bit clearer. That's reading from the logistic train stop output, which is going to give us a negative one signal... 
for whichever fluid the train is trying to get rid of. If it's an LTN delivery. If we tell a vanilla scheduled train to come here, it'll give a positive signal for how much it's got. So I'll just set this to not equal to zero. Uh, and this should be matter. Now, I don't remember what we're doing with the matter trains. I'm not sure why we didn't deliver that here. But there isn't quite room to just pump this directly. Uh, Let's switch off these requests for now. We already did. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget to do the wiring on this side. Fantastic. And... How should we pump? I think I see the path. Just temporarily move all this down a tile. Whoops. Five hundred per second and dropping. Kinda of depends on your definition of winning, indeed. Alright, the pumps are already empty, right? Yeah. Can we make sure that's empty? Oops. Well, it should be getting close to the point where it needs a hand to finish. I think it'll, no matter how little is in here, it'll never get rid of the dregs. Uh, unless we get down to a certain amount of... A certain amount of hydrogen... Chloride. Okay, so there's none in here, right? Yeah. Make sure of it. Okay. Thought I had it copy pasted. Easy enough to replace. And that's it. Except for the part where. We need the matter. Okay, now why the heck are we not getting matter delivered here? There should have been a couple of trains parked here waiting to drop off matter, or like stuck trying to drop off matter. Also, if we've, if we've already got 55k here, 59k, why are we bringing another train if we're looking for 100k and it brings 60? What? LTN, that overfills stations. This is why we always leave some slack. More than we should have to. Okay, um, but what is going on with matter? It should be everywhere. Oh. I think it's because all of it's going here? Maybe? Now we're actually... Now we're actually chockers on mineral water after all that. What the hell? Was this really not necessary? 
Whatever, we want to reduce the train traffic regardless. Okay, here we have e even more high... Oh no, no no no, that was my fault. No 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 no. That's why we had more trains of hydrogen chloride coming. Because LTN didn't know what we had. What's the matter... What's the matter with matter, indeed? Hey Waffles, welcome in. Um, but yeah, we should have... There's loads of matter here. This is an LTN requester and a vanilla provider. Oh, come to think of it, I guess we won't be using some of these anymore. But we'll deal with that a little bit later. Right now I'm more interested in the matter. So we produce matter all over the place. We pick it up once we've got a certain amount. How many consumers of matter do we have on the ground? This block, our new block, and this one where the stuff goes upstairs. That's it. Oh, we've got ludicrous priority. But, I mean, this is basically full already, right? Um, this one doesn't have priority, and if it gets full enough, we actually delete some of it. Is it actually just that we don't have any stations that meet the threshold at the moment? Is that all it is? This is 60k. 70k. Why are we suddenly not turning cryonite into matter? Oh, wait. What? Hold on. I was going to say, where's the input? It's only the excess. If cryonite powder is saturated, cryonite goes up here to become matter. That's not happening right now. Which is a little spooky, but I guess it's fine. Uh, Vulcanite. We're not making matter out of Vulcanite. Since when? Huh. Stuff that was always just overflowing is not overflowing anymore. We are turning sand into matter. Takes time. We're not turning stone into matter at the moment. Hmm. Let's look at all the producers. Okay, so sand becomes matter. Uh, uranium... Excess uranium is not being turned into matter, at least not right now. Rare metals is... Rare metals is not being turned into matter. Hmm... Copper. We do have excess copper. Uh, Immersite, of course. Mineral water used to be a lot of what we turned into matter, but then it flipped. Crude oil? No. Uh, what's this for? Vulcanite? This would be cryonite. Okay. We are turning iridite into matter at the moment. But regardless, uh, any individual one of those stations would take a while to reach 60k. 
I guess I could just lower the uh, provide threshold just to check that this is working. There's a delivery. And it's headed towards... That one just went back to the depot. And this one is headed towards... Wait, what? What are you... Oh, you're picking up sand. Oh, you're picking up sand. No, where are you going? No, 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 come back. You're going to turn matter into everything else. Uh... I think I should bump the priority of this one slightly. Whoops. Just, just slightly above the turn matter into whatever else block. That seems fine. Especially since this one can vent, can vent matter, which it is doing right now, which is a little bit frustrating under the circumstances. Yeah, th this one should definitely be... The matter drop off of last resort. Okay. Uh, but then I have to trigger another. Another matter pickup. Who's got the most? 61k. Here we go. Oh, timing. And there it is, coming to our new build. Confirm it works. Fantastic. There it goes. Oh, we don't have the matter stabilizers. That might help. So, where's the scrap? Tag over here. Alright, I think I'll put the other purple thing here. Matter stabilizer. Basic matter stabilizer. And we'll change this uh, channel name. Wait, is this for going upstairs? No, downstairs. Oh, I need to copy it from the train stop. Basic. Matter. Stab. Let's copy this. And on the upstairs... Wait, uh, let's change the request first. Where the heck did I put it? Okay. Where's the requester? No, this is... The requester is upstairs. All right, and it's around here. Basic and a stabilizer. And this one. Not so difficult. What does it stack to? A hundred. I'll just set that to a couple of train loads. But first, we'll get the old train to drop this off. Where the heck did it just go? Uh... Downstairs, apparently? What? Oh, it might just be coincidence. 
No, it was parked here before. That's fine. Uh, alright, so... Basic mat... Basic matter stabilizer. We want to drop it off up here. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't I just skip that step? And drop this over here directly. Empty. It does seem to matter quite a bit, indeed. Uh, I've been told the fireworks sounds aren't too bad through the microphone, but I hope, it, I hope that's true. Sorry about that. Uh, so this one needs to be changed from scrap to basic matter stabilizer. Fantastic. Never actually put a icon here. There we go. Yeah, we've got a bunch of unnamed LTN providers here. Oops. Uh, and you can just go back to being an LTN train. Okay, so I think there's a step or two I haven't finished. Switch this back on. That should be it. And from now on, basic matter stabilizers should get brought down the elevator and put straight into the LTN network. Which means we do away with this station and add a request for basic matter st Yeah. Request for basic matter stabilizers over here. Where are we reading from? Here? Everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but... That's a lot. 15k. Alright. Basic matter stabilizer. 15k. Get rid of this. Wait, don't get rid of this before we do this. Cool, cool, cool. Where's our decon train? It's still stuck over here. Why? Because I told it to wait indefinitely. That's why. Good talk. Okay. Very good. There's the basics. And... Don't tell me the inserters can't keep up with this. Hold on. 8 point... F no, the inserters should be fine. Maybe I just caught it getting started. Why did you stop? Why are you stopping? Oh, is it because the charges haven't caught up? It's probably, yeah, because this is percentage based. Hold on. We're not getting the charged packs out fast enough because the inserter is... keeps grabbing the not charged packs. It can pick up 12 at a time, but it keeps picking up one or two. And then these build up. Uh, so on paper, it absolutely should be fast enough. Bruh. What's the neatest way to fix this? Do we need to? This, if this ran continuously, it would be 170 per second to excess. So maybe not. Maybe those little gaps are fine. And there's enough storage in the pipes. 
No, no, there is not. Mm. Oh, this side's just getting started, though. Wait, how is this side? Uh, what? How is this side getting started? There's no matter stabilizers. Where are you getting this from? What? It's not coming through this machine, is it? Uh, maybe it is. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Okay. Well, that might account for the... I just want to know if these would run continuously if... if we didn't have that problem. Oh, the output is saturated, so probably. Probably yes. Also, this can hold 2,000, 3,000... 30 recipes worth of output can sit here, so it's probably fine. Also, this is already full. Um, I think it's going to be okay. Alright. In any case, uh, Vitalik Reagent is saturated for now. And we can probably phase out this old thing. I guess I, it's not far away. I could just pump some of this stuff over directly. Well, first of all, we want... Hmm. I was going to say we want to prioritize picking up this lithium chloride, but since we're direct belting over here... It's never going to... This input's never going to stop being saturated. I guess it is going to consume from here like 50-50. And there's only one source, so there isn't really anything we need to do about that. No, there is another source. Okay, so crank up the priority on this one. Kill the input, which we already did. Um... Maybe pump, pump this fluid over here. Do I have some pipes on me? I do. I'll use some regular pipe here, just so it's obviously, it's obvious that it doesn't belong. Must redo the whole thing? No. Zero per second. Don't tell me we just ran out of pipe. Uh, fine. Is that just already saturated? I guess it is. Hmm, I don't know if that is ever going to get pumped here, actually. Uh, maybe if we put a pump here, that'll have a higher priority. And... Same thing for... Chlorine. Or the hydrogen chloride. And 
might want to add a pump over here. So that should drain out eventually, theoretically. I mean, there should, certainly shouldn't be any trouble draining out the hydrogen chloride. Just make it perfectly clear that we're done with this place. So we already prioritized this, right? Yeah. Alright. Should empty out eventually. I'm a little concerned that... I, I, I kind of need to see the hydrogen chloride here get consumed. Why don't we just unlimit these for a moment? And this is pumping. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Are you preventing train eating itself by keeping trains short? Uh, preventing train eating itself? I don't... I don't understand. Like crashing into each other? That's just signals. Like these. Feeding itself? Preventing train feeding itself by keeping trains short. I still don't understand the question. Uh, gluten pale ethos, welcome in by the way. How fast is this draining out? Not that slowly. Alright, cool. Oh wow. Okay, that's good. Uh, next I wanted to redo holmium solenoids if we haven't already. Oh, there it is. Product. Yeah, there's only this build. Did we already redo lithium? Probably not. Uh, I'm going to say no. Now, where do we want to put holmium solenoid? It uses a lot of cable. Ooh. It uses a lot of cable, right? Holmium solenoid. Eight cable for one solenoid. Same stack size, so yes. I think we should build it over here. And it's probably going to be super straightforward. We just start with, where the heck does this fit? One of these. And pretty much just mirroring that should be more than we need, I imagine. Let's see what kind of rate we get. How many inputs are there for the Noid? Three. This one needs two. I hope the rate isn't as crazy.
Whoops. Chromium solenoid. Uh, what's our consumption? Solenoid last 50 hours. 215 per minute last 10 hours closer to 400. So if we can do like 800 per minute or more, then that's probably maybe enough for the whole playthrough. 2.7k per minute. Okay, I don't think we need more than two machines. I think this will be fine. Uh, now that said, maybe we even do one machine. How much throughput do we need to support this? More than one purple belt. Uh, just slightly more than half a blue belt and hardly anything for iron stick. I don't think we're putting iron stick in the rail network though. No, we're not. So, like we did with uh, scaffolding, I think. Where is it? Uh, nope. Aeroframe poles. Like we did with aeroframe poles, I think we'll... We'll have a machine like this. That means we can't do this with a compact beacon. Sad. Actually, maybe we can. It depends on how many poles we need. But I wouldn't be shocked if a 3x3 machine can go fast enough. Uh, iron stick is what we're looking for. Looks like it'll be fast enough. We could prod 9 this. There's no need, I don't think. Iron is really not that precious. This is going to be one of the last things that we prod 9. But... Spacing's going to be a little tricky. These would have to be, like, next to each other. To fit under the compact beacon. But the rate of iron stick is totally fine. Alright. What if we... Hmm. How do we get the iron? I guess we could put this down here somewhere. Something like this. And we can't do that, so... Is it okay to use an inserter here? I don't love it. Hmm. That's actually super awkward. I guess we could do the output belt up here. Bruh. And we need holmium cable, which we're going to get from over here, and rare metals. So we could get rare metals this way. And I guess we could just barely get the iron sticks this way. With this little Cthulhu-esque mess. I think they mean not blocking itself on roundabouts. When it makes a U-turn in the junction. Uh, we use chain signals. In the... Well, ev everywhere that we don't want trains to stop. Uh, we use chain signals. We could also use chain signals here because they, they will make an exception to stop at a train stop, specifically. Okay. Um, so we could do... 
like this. Is that okay? Think so. That might be it. Okay, so this is rare metal. Uh, this is iron plate. It'll get a little imbalanced, but we don't need that much iron. As long as we set a request threshold properly, that won't be a problem. Because uh, I think because of the way the loaders are and this isn't consuming fast, it'll take all from one side first. So we just need to make sure there's always a certain amount of empty space here. But since we only need rare metals and iron plate to come directly from the trains, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. So that's iron plate, rare metal, and this of course is holmium cable. And then we can just mirror this. Is what I would say if the beacon wasn't in the way. It shouldn't be a problem. It's just going to look a little bit wonkier. I mean, I, I could do the same thing on the opposite side. Just for consistency's sake. Seems unnecessary. Alright, so that is... Solenoid. Is this long trains only? It is. Do we need a short train for, hol uh, for Holmium Solenoids? I don't think so. And copy past to that. So this is rare metal and iron plate. Going into advanced assembly machine. And out comes solenoid. Seems good. How fast are these individually? 22.5 per second. But needing a hundred... Wait, wait, wait. A hundred holmium cable per second each? Why did I think we needed 80 per second? So realistically we're getting like 20? Uh... Solenoids per minute? That's like a thousand holmium solenoids per minute, actually. And our current consumption was like less than 400. So if we don't mind the cable belt bottleneck, I mean, we could, we could obviously get around it, but we could just leave it like this. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Put this over here. That'll do. Just copy paste this. I'm not going to bother to make a blueprint for this one. Alright, so we build over here. Need some prod modules. We've got a few left. 
And decommission this one. Just kill the input and wait till it drains out. Now then, let's ride the construction train. Wait here indefinitely. And this is all saturated by now, right? It, it isn't because I removed the limits on some of these contained. Holy. That caught up quick. All right. Seems good. Is this empty? It actually is. Nice. I'm just going to make sure it picks up the last dregs as well instead of waiting for a specific count. Oh, right. Uh, and inactivity. There we go. There's other stations with this name, that's why there's so many trains moving this stuff. Mineral water's actually almost empty. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Cool, cool, cool. Very easy cleanup. Decon train, park over here. And I guess we'll just wait till we're down to the dregs of fluid. Okay. Didn't bring a compact... Whoop, yes I did. Didn't bring an assembly machine 3. Uh, haven't used those for a while. I'm sure we have room for it over here. Just the one. Good thing it can fit just as many modules. And don't forget to connect that. I don't think I've set the requests here either. So we want plates and rare metals. Uh, we'll just make it like 120 stacks. How fast does this go through? 14 per second. We only need two, um, two solids in here, so we'll just go for like 1.5 train loads. That should be fine. And it's already on its way. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what is happening with Holmium Plate? Where does the bottleneck begin? What? Oh no. Oh no, we haven't caught up on antimatter. Uh, I'm afraid. We're still not making antimatter? What? Antimatter. Oh, that's not good. Why is the production... Dropping down to zero curve so smooth, probably because of fluid mechanics. So that, so it stopped in the last hour. Oh, and that was the first we heard of it in a while as well. I know this traces back to Petrolia uh, Cosmic Water. So that's shifted. Why is Cosmic Water not moving? Lubricant? Lubricants on the same on the same schedule as as petroleum. There's there's tons of lubricant here. Provides stack threshold. We fell for that before. 
I just forgot to right click, shift left, uh, shift right, shift left click this one. Uh, provide threshold, provide threshold, provide threshold. What a good reason to have the entire base come to a screeching halt for hours. Okay, looks like that should work from now on. So you are no doubt delivering... Well, there might be other things that need it. And that's going to make cosmic water. Uh, the volume of cosmic water itself that we need is not terribly high, if I recall. 200 per second versus 2,000 petroleum per second. Lube makes cosmic water at a rate of 1 to 10. So this is 10 train loads of cosmic water. Which will last uh, 3,000 seconds or 50 minutes with this current build going at max speed. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and that chemical gel is no doubt still the reason we're not making plasma stream, which is the reason we're not making particle stream, which is the reason we're not making antimatter, which is the reason all of our ships have stopped, which is the reason we're going to have terrifying resource shortages soon. Complex systems are fragile. What's the matter with the antimatter? Indeed, that that's the matter. We found it. Okay, why is the train still failing to get here? That's it. Fantastic. The little sticks just quickly flung across the belt. Wait, why is there only one? Oh. Uh, so we're a little short on max tier modules here. I don't think we really need them, or we may never need them. So we'll just put tier 6s in for the speed and efficiency. Minus 80%. Fantastic. Alright, that's a bit better. Cool, cool, cool. That's pseudo-symmetrical enough. So, how long until we get more holmium core fragments, I wonder? Okay. That's probably why we're not spamming matter as fast as we usually do. I bet matter has been dropping off. Because everything else has been dropping off. Okay, no, it hasn't. Hasn't really been affected that much yet. The out, uh, output for the cables is missing. Oh, because I only copy-pasted that side. Good catch, thank you. No, oh, no, don't jump into the editor. It'll kick you out of a vehicle. We can just recreate this part ourselves. I forgot that was why we wanted to change this belt here. Oh, I can just put this up here, actually. It's fine. Alright, that should do it. Seems good. Uh, welcome in, by the way. I didn't say so earlier. I think I did. The pseudo symmetry. What? 
I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. What shall we nuke? More belts? A little hard to see where they are because of all the items still perfectly arranged on the ground where the belts were. Let's get these machines up here. The last of the science. Bombs away. Fantastic. Maybe the spaceships don't cost as much UPS as I imagined. If a lot of them have stopped by now, and our UPS is still so similar. Yeah, it looks like a lot of our ships have stopped. With kind of a random sample. I only saw a couple of them were in motion. Oh yeah. It's getting quiet out there. Alright. Let's see core fragment. Consumption. Dropped off a cliff in the last hour or so. Okay. Uh, is this already... No. There's not that much demand for holmium solenoids, so this is going to take a while to empty itself out. We got, I put the, cons uh, the deconstruction train over here. That's about as empty as it's going to get. Fantastic. And I guess we could do the same over here, not that I care. And boop. Soshte boop. Fantastic. Let's get rid of the extra little bits of rail while we're at it. That's not what I meant. There we go. Guess I could have removed that. It's fine. Cool. So old lithium chloride build is no more. This one has direct belt to all of the biggest consumers. And we should hopefully have complete overkill for Vitalik Reagent, etc. As long as we can actually supply the materials to it. Looks like it's going to take some time to get another trainload of basic matter stabilizers. That's not exactly surprising. No, we do have them here. Uh, did I configure something wrong? I didn't set this to the... to the right channel. But that should only have... That should only have caused too many basic matter stabilizers to be delivered. I don't understand. If this was on the wrong channel, then we shouldn't have been receiving a signal that says, Hey, there's... Oh, wait. Signal transmitter signal. Our, our safeguard prevented it from... Prevented it from passing through the requests. Nice. Very nice indeed. So downstairs we've got a constant combinator attached to the transmitter. So if, uh, if we're listening to an invalid channel, we're not going to receive this. Now that the train is 
gone. Is about to be gone. We can fix this channel name. Uh, train stop name. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Always good to double check. Hey, science is moving. No, it isn't. Did it just stop? Minus 783,000. If time less than 36k, alarm science is blocked. Uh, 3.6k. How is it not telling us science is blocked? I don't. It is flashing here, I just don't see it down here. For the notification. That's weird. I guess we may as well check on this stuff. Should probably redo these at some point. Those hoverbots are not really a problem though. Where's this train without fuel? I guess we'll never know. In space, no one can hear the alarms, indeed. But yeah, I don't understand why it's flashing, but maybe there's only room for three notifications down here. That's probably it. Okay, is antimatter happening yet? No. Uh, cosmic water, perhaps? We are making cosmic water, not as quickly as I would expect or hope. Oh, it's a water flow issue? Even though we've got pumps everywhere here. So we should probably redo cosmic water. Hmm. Probably another miniaturization might not be a bad idea. Um, this machine taking up so much space is a bit of a problem, though. But I imagine the way to go is perhaps not so many decontamination facilities. Because even with these tier 6 modules... I think even with the pumps, this was shaped for, like, tier 3 modules. How much would this side consume, if it could? 6.2 thousand water per second. Theoretically, the pumps can push 18 thousand. But the more um, pieces of pipe there are between them, the slower they'll go. That said, I am a bit surprised this one's only doing 2.25 thousand per second. Which means we're not getting even remotely close to using all these machines. So... Let's make an endgame build for Cosmic Water. And we probably might want to, like we did over here, put the... Cosmic water decontamination right next to it. It's going to spit out contaminated bio sludge and contaminated scrap as well. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Get rid of this. But I think before we do that, it's time for a short break. The old noggin is getting a bit foggy. Time for a snack and a rehydrate and so on. Let's save. We did the nuke for Kirk, didn't we? Yes. 
What mods do you have besides LTN, FNEI, K2, and SE? Quite a bit. Uh, you can scroll down, or you could do exclam exclamation mark mods. It's going to put a big spam in the chat. Missing in action, welcome in. And Rakatsa, uh, Rakatsli. All right. Words on the strip. And resume. And LTN screensaver. All right. We'll start words on the stream in about 30 seconds. Thanks, you're welcome. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Oops, it already started. Uh, okay, no commercial today. Have fun.
Okay, how we do? Oh, rip. Good try. Better luck next time. Let's continue with SE, shall we? Where we want cosmic water and decontamination of cosmic water. Uh, and we'll probably do a couple of quarter block builds because I imagine the way it's going to scale, the fluid throughput is going to be insane for water in particular. We're already delivering ice instead of water because the sheer volume of ice is... Uh, of water that we would need to consume if we brought it by train uh, is a bit of a problem. I think we don't even bring water directly up the space elevator. We bring it up as ice anyway. Pretty sure, yeah. Now, we could miniaturize... That's the wrong... It's a loader. That did it wrong again. Okay. Unload it, please. Uh, so we the only solid we need is ice. We can use a... Biochem facility to go... Hopefully way faster than we need to. But... Water from ice. The thing is, it's very big, and I kind of want this to fit in a quarter block. It doesn't have to. It'll just be kind of neat. With tier 6 modules... Oh, it's not even under a beacon, and that's 6k per second. Which is not enough, even if the pumps were going fast enough. But this is all full, so it looks like we are basically pipe bottlenecked here. I can see where this layout makes a lot of sense to get the lubricant in the side pipes. Not to mention bringing in the cosmic water from this build. Uh, there is another way to melt the ice. Which is much more compact. Where is it? Might be a bit slow though, we can't module it. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Electric boiler. Ice into water. So without modules that's only 400 per second and this is all this is four times faster but much much bigger if we were to put tier 9 modules with no beacon we're looking at 6k per second wait what i thought this thing had tier 6s and it was 6k per second is it already capped I think it is. I think it can only take 60 ice in per second. I think it's a frame rate uh, cap kind of issue. Also, the inserters are not actually giving us that much. But it's because it's output bottlenecked. It's definitely a pipe issue. That's, uh, that's kind of interesting to know. So we don't, we absolutely don't need like tier six, tier nine speed modules in this thing. I wonder how far we would have to go. Out of room. Let's empty out our inventory a bit. We can always just recreate whatever we need. Uh, if we have tier three. Okay, so tier 3 gives us 4.1k. Tier 4 is 4.8. It looks like tier 6 is exactly where it crosses that threshold. It is. I mean, maybe you could do it with like 3 tier 6s or something. Nope, it's exactly 4 tier 6 modules to hit the limit. So we can only get 6k per second 
out of one biochem facility, which means a lot of that build was completely going to waste. Uh, if we have tier 9 speed modules in these things with beacon, which we probably won't do because it'll be too fast anyway, and our precious modules can go elsewhere, but just in theory... Oh, that's still 2 megawatt each. That's fine. Is it? We're probably going to be too fast anyway. Okay, so 400 kilowatt. It wants 2k per second. So we'd only be able to support 3, well, l l slightly less than 3 decontamination facilities in this way. Also... We can't do direct piping because it only outputs on two sides. Um, I think I think we'll probably just go for like tier six modules here. They're they're basically free at this point, and the frame limit and machines are just and and fluid flow is just too fast with this build. So. We'll get this down to negative 80% power. Uh, how many of these do we need? 50-50. And this is still 6k. I mean, it, it had better be. It doesn't actually have to be under the beacon. That one doesn't. Oops. Wait, what? What did I... Pollution. Okay. Why are we... Defaulting to pollution now. What? What did I press? Shift? No. Control? No. It was like Q or something. Uh, how do we fix this? I vaguely remember someone pointing it out ages ago, but it's been so long. Tab? No. Shift tab? No. Scroll? Oh, like scroll while we're doing... No. Control scroll? Shift? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Shift scroll wheel. Okay. I set it to all and it's still defaulting to pollution. There we go. Okay. Um, so if we're going to get 6k out of one of these, there's no other option for a chemical plant in space, right? To melt the water. I don't believe so. Uh, let's find the water from ice recipe. I guess I should just click on ice. Water ice, right click. Here we go. Uh, thermodynamics facility is an option. I didn't know that. I think it's a little bit smaller. Crafting speed 4... Versus crafting speed 4. Okay. Uh, and these definitely don't work in space. And this is too slow. Let's try the thermo facility. Good thing we checked. Despite... Well, personally, I was pretty sure of the outcome, but... Happy to be wrong. So this also reaches 6k. Uh, it should also reach 6k outside of the beacon. Yep. And we could do the same thing with a smaller package, or we could like do it twice, or something like that. I guess that wouldn't be the worst way to go. We could do a couple of these with 
direct water connection. Getting the lube there might be a bit awkward though. Hmm. What if it was like that? Lubricant's gonna be up here. Lubricant's super slow, right? Yeah. We only need two fluids and one of them's water, so actually it's ice. And lubricant's pretty slow. So pumping it like this should be fine. And what kind of ratio are we getting? This one's 2.2k, this is, can spit out 6. That's totally fine. If we do th three of these, it's actually not that great of a ratio. Not to mention, we have to deal with fluid flow. Oh, wait, no, what am I thinking? Hold on. Oh, I see the, I see the issue. 1.4k, actually, each. So, 1 to 4 is actually a pretty good ratio, but how do we... How do we shape it? Waffles, thanks for the tip, by the way. Ian Noah, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Six K on each side. Hmm. I guess if we If we use huge tanks down the middle, like a really wide pipe system, instead of having the slow cosmic water in the middle, that might be an option. And these two could output directly to that. And then, well, th those two don't need to be under the beacon. And then what? Lubricant would still be pretty awkward. Kind of like that. Is this even going to line up? Surely it will. Well, we I don't really want to put undergrounds here. Uh, I don't think doing it in a line like before is really what we want to go with. I want to squeeze it all into as compact a package as I possibly can. Okay, so maybe get rid of that in the middle. How much can we do with direct, or pretty direct connections? What kind of ratio are we willing to settle for? In terms of throughput, we don't need these two machines, but the separate outputs. How fast can these pipes and pumps really manage? Surely I ran simulations when I built this last time, so what the hell? Oh, that fits together kind of well. And we 
would have to squeeze the lube in like this. Hmm. I don't like it. Also, what about the output? I guess that's fine. Not quite. More like this. So that should be able to go very, very fast. We have an infinite source here. And delete it all over here. 3,000 per second out of a theoretical 18,000. Huh. Not going any faster if I change that. So 3k per second would be our limit with only one piece of pipe between between the pumps. And these two are looking for 2.89k per second. So maybe this is pretty much the build. That would stick out over the side. Not a fan of that. We don't necessarily need two thermo facilities. What if I put this in the middle? And then what? I don't think we can... have this both ways, can we? That's kind of wonky. probably the most efficient layout that we can manage with this. Kind of weird, though. Can't say I'm a fan. Tanks with pumps? True. Tanks with pumps. If we do 50k uh, tanks... Sea Moogle, thank you so much for the 15 months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Are you a ventilator then? Wait, what? And this deletes on this side. That's still doing exactly 3k per second. Interestingly enough. Yeah, it's... So is the 18,000 per second just a lie? Like, maybe the stats in the mod says it can do 18,000 per second, but... Uh, maybe it can't because of the frame rate or something. Six thousand per second. Apparently the limit is actually six thousand per second. It goes down fifty percent with just one container between each of the pumps. I'm literally a ventilator. Is this a new meme? Welcome in read the words. Good to see you too, thank you. Hmm. Can we... Okay. If we take from this pipe on both sides, can we put 6k through here? Is what I'm suddenly wondering. Kind of like this. Three 
3,000 per second each. Yeah, I imagine... I imagine we can. Water ice. In you go. And both of these are pumping at 3k per second. Interesting. Alright, so maybe we can make something symmetrical and compact and functional. And neat and cool and awesome. How much cosmic water would this be? 584 per second or 36k per min... Wait. 35k per minute. Cosmic water consumption last 50 hours is 16k. Somehow I don't think we're going to need more than what we're already laying out here. Actually, I kind of want to do like a, like a this kind of shape. Can we fit underground pipes to get past this building? No. That's so rude. Can't quite squeeze this in here. is going to end up messier than I would like. The the lubricant won't go through this building, right? That's what I thought. Uh, I, I thought something similar with another build earlier today. It's not coming through. To be fair, the arrows were bi-directional on the other machine. For the uh, output. Mineral water made out of matter. It's a real shame it won't just go through there though. It would have been a lot neater. I guess we could do it like this. I don't love that, but it could be worse. Uh, now I'm confused. There we go. So maybe something like this? Um, if we wanted to be cheeky, we really could make the output station also the input station. I don't think I really feel like doing that. Not that it would be easy to fit here anyway. Hmm. Let's not worry about the beacon for the moment. Maybe... Maybe we could just do it like this. Oh. That's... Well, that's not going to work on both sides. But that seems like a cozy fit. Why did we kill the train stop? The lube is still looking pretty awkward. And hypothetically, we put our output station somewhere like here. Maybe I put it on the other side. I'd rather, e even if we don't really need it, I kind of want it to fit in a quarter block. Hmm. 
I could always push this one tile up if I don't mind having a corner belt for the ice input. Uh, this just barely gets under this. And... And then what? If I move this down one, we could bring this pipe down here, I suppose. Might be room to do that yet. Might just look a little bit neater. Doesn't look a whole lot... ...neat. Still in range of long arm inserters. So, well, there's no solids or anything that we need to worry about around the side here. That should be pretty straightforward. Where are the pipes? Give me a five. Actually, I wonder if a 7 here would... That's not what I wanted. That's not going to do it either. Just like that. And just like that. That's not too bad. And then for the lube, how many tiles is this? Twelve. Four threes. Seven and five. That doesn't look too bad. Actually, don't mind that. And then pumps like this. This way we only get 200k storage for our cosmic water. But we can make 18... K oh, that's per minute. Uh, 304 per second. 18k per minute. Wasn't that not that far ahead of what we've already consumed before? Cosmic water last 50 hours. 16k per minute. Hmm. Oh, we're not beaconed. Okay, so water's positive. Because of course it is. Uh, and per minute. 35,000 cosmic water. Yeah, that's fine. How long does it take to fill a train? 102 seconds. I could live with that. So we'd have room to fill three trains. Three and a bit. All at once in the huge storage tank, and it takes 100 seconds to make another train load. That is probably enough to cope with peak... Burst demand. Give me a 3B. I don't love these pipes here, but it's... The overall look of the whole thing, I definitely don't mind. So, I may have gone too far before considering what we have to do with this. 
No, it's literally just contaminated cosmic water in, cosmic water out. And since we've got pumps here that the entire thing is dependent on, we can make sure there's always a bit more room in the storage before we make more. So maybe just go up to like 120k. Cosmic water. Well, why do we need this build to output to this build? It's probably just a matter of convenience. Two fluids, one solid output. We can do that at one station. That's actually totally fine. We don't need such extreme storage of the cosmic water, especially when we can make it so fast. Relative to its demand. I wouldn't mind having a bit more storage, but I just don't see a very convenient way to fit it. Maybe I do, actually. So that's another 100k. Wait, can we push this back a little bit more? We can. Which means... We could actually have a pretty crazy amount of cosmic water storage. I kind of like this bit the way it was. Uh, what are we doing? Where's the 3B? And then we just... How many tiles is this? Seven? Eight. Rude. It looks pretty cozy, though. Alright. How fast does this eat ice? 60 per second. Direct insert with superior long inserter is like 43, 44 per second. 43.2. Um, so I guess we'll just read all of this. Actually, um, I kind of want LTN. Oh, you're joking. Mm, I guess we could connect this here. That looks less sketchy than the alternatives. And I guess LTN is going to know about all of the cosmic water in here. We should probably pump it to here, though. So... Six tiles. That's probably fine. We're not making the cosmic water super fast anyway. 584 per second. Put Putzaru, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does this have room for a corner though? Yeah, it does. Just barely. Just barely. I like. I like this build a lot more than our last version. Really happy with that, actually. Um, I do kind of want... Well... 
I was going to say I want the cosmic water on both sides to be able to reach each other before it gets pumped into here. But I think we'd have to have the pipe go all the way up this way. Is that really a problem? Not really. At the left side, tanks connected. They are now. Fantastic. Because if we're going to... No, I, I think we just don't connect these two builds. Alright. So it's literally just cosmic water contaminated in uh, fluids only. Gonna need some... Again, probably some tier 6 modules are fast enough. Oh. This is way slower. Because there's no water involved. Alright, so... Let's just build it... Supposing that we might put in... Max tier modules at some point. Though I'm sure it'll be extremely unnecessary. And... We want to have huge storage for the contaminated cosmic water that's coming in. Also, we want the trains to be able to drop it off quickly. With the maximum number of pumps. And... Ideally... I want this to fit on the opposite side as well. Okay, how much, um... What consumes contaminated cosmic water? I'm hoping it's only this recipe. Oops, wrong click. Contaminated cosmic water... Oh, I should have checked this first. Decontamination. Nope, that's it. That's good. Which means if we check... Contaminated cosmic water consumption. Last 50 hours. 11k per minute. More than I was expecting. Okay. So we need like two-thirds of the... Recycling capacity compared to the production capacity. Although, I guess the cosmic water that comes out of here is included in the consumption of cosmic water in general. So this should be way faster than we need. Um, but that said, 584, just a couple of these machines would be faster than these ones, it looks like, for the cosmic water. 831 per second, 584, cool. So we should be able to... We have to have contaminated bio-sludge pick up as well, though. Ideally... What the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we, we can't quite have that many pumps. Because of the corner here... This pump won't connect to the back of the fluid wagon. But you can see it in the preview here. It's no big deal. PL Bear, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's no way we can fit two of the... No. Okay, so... If I put it this far down... And if we did would pick up on this side as well, it would be intruding on a theoretical build down here. I like to do this stuff nice and modular. We could always do the contaminated bio sludge pick up here as well. So super high priority for both pick up and drop off. Where's the... Where's the wire? Mm. 
And this is going to be... If... Contaminated cosmic water less than zero means the train is trying to get rid of it if it gives a negative one signal. Uh, contaminated biosludge, I think it's greater than zero. If the train is looking to pick it up, it'll be the amount that it's trying to pick up. Or we could just, we could probably get away with just doing both of these not equal to zero. But either way, that should be fine. Now, how do we lay this out, though? Oh, that's easy. That's actually very easy. Unfortunately, there's no container that's going to fit here cozily. I guess we could just do this anyway. It's pretty slow. Alternatively... If I put this right in the middle, there's not going to be, like... I mean, we could put a pump here. It's super unnecessary. Do it anyway. I'm a little sad I can't fit a beacon in the middle. Well, I guess I can. Well, we could just do it like, like this. Sure. Um, so that goes there, that goes there. And the contaminated bio sludge goes back up this way. Slightly too long. Don't tell me this isn't going to reach. That'll do. This part should be symmetrical. Nice. Green wire to the LTM train stop. To let us know what we've got here. This is way cleaner than the last build. Alright, so this is a high priority pickup. Both of these are offering cosmic water. But we obviously want to use the recycled stuff first so we don't run out of room for the contaminated cosmic water. Probably had a way bigger storage for it before, but every time I've looked at it, uh, this has been empty anyway, and actually that's the same amount of storage. That's fine. And as for contaminated bio sludge, that goes up here. Cool. I'm I'm pretty happy that this just happens to reach this wire. Did I put settings on these pumps? Not really. Uh, so if cosmic water is how much can we fit? Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, six hundred thousand. But I guess there's no there's no need to put a limit on it. If we're not uh, if we're not making room to put the cosmic water from over here into this pickup, we can just go ham here. That's fine. Alright, so... Ride threshold... Maybe a little bit more than 60k, just so that... It'll pump faster. This one can be 60k, because it's all in the one container. Or it will be. Uh, short trains are fine. Either way. And high priority pickup on the right. 
This one is pretty straightforward. Bring lube, bring ice. Couple of train loads. 100k lube. Uh, I can probably copy the station settings in the existing build, actually. Should be valid. A little bit less fiddly. Close enough. Just have to change one symbol here. No, no I don't. That's fine. Okay, now for the only tricky part. Uh, we are looking for all of the contaminated cosmic water. I mean, we can theoretically fit 600k. But really, just all of it needs to be consumed. Always and forever. Uh, and... We don't need to put a signal here for... For the stuff we're providing. No stack threshold, just... Just fluids. Provide threshold 60k. And... Just gonna put that back over there. And just naturally, as a provider station, when this, when, when one of the signals uh, reaches like 60,000, it's going to be offered to LTN. But with this negative signal offsetting the stuff that we've got here, that'll never happen for contaminated cosmic water. Cool. That's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, and we can do this with short trains or long trains. Alright, so this is contaminated cosmic water request. And also contaminated bio sludge high priority provider. That's the part that we need to add here. Uh, provide priority 100. Actually, what do we do with the contaminated bio sludge? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't spit out scrap, does it? It does. No. I forgot. Uh, can we deal with that here? Maybe. Bulk rail loader. Should fit right about here. I think we can probably manage that. Shouldn't be an issue. It's really slow, right? It is very, very slow. To the point where I don't mind having... the belt storage be our buffer between when the train comes to pick up this load and this should be able to continuously run fill the belt up or it'll never get close to filling the belt up before the train comes to pick up the first hundred stacks Let's see, it takes an hour to make six stacks of contaminated scrap. Each piece of belt can hold uh, seven or eight, seven for the corner, contaminated scrap. So that's like 64, 70, 80-ish on each side. 
So in other words, uh, you could run for another half hour. Before the train comes. With this. Alright, so then... Uh, provide stack threshold 100. And this is actually... It's kind of weird. Cosmic water and contaminated scrap. My priority provider. Short trains or long trains are fine. That was easy to sort out. And that should be everything, right? We won't have to move the ice and lubricant that we've already got stored. Uh, okay, the lube is going to need a little bit of a juggle, but that's fine. Uh, contamin contaminated cosmic water is going to be in exactly the same spot. Let's turn off the requester stations for the moment. And then we'll just... I don't care about deleting a little bit of water. Let this kind of empty out a bit. And then go patch it. In the meantime... Space... And... Fill out these bits that look weird. Bring the track out before the turn? Or is that yucky? Bring the track out? Do you mean the belt? Oh, the uh, the train track. Hold on. Did that look kind of cool? Nah. Well, that looks okay, I suppose. Maybe like that. This does not belong here. That looks tacky. That looks okay. Yeah, I kind of like this. I guess fill that in. Cool, cool, cool. Are those inserters actually keeping up? They are. Nice, Sue. I think that build is complete. It's blueprint. Uh. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're not going to need this kind of speed yet. Or maybe ever. So for now, for the blueprint, we'll just put in tier 6 modules. And I think that's it. Oh, what about signals? Beep, beep. And beep, beep. Waffles, thank you for the following. That's pretty neat. Thank you. Don't forget pumps for cosmic water output. Pumps for cosmic water out. Oh, right. Thank you. Those are all we'll need. Cool, cool, cool. Blueprint. Uh, cosmic water. Oops. And contaminated cosmic water. Uh, I'm just going to call it tier 9, as in... It's shaped to theoretically build, be our last build. Appropriate for tier 9 modules. And 
blueprint and toss it in here. Uh, we'll add the tier 9 module to show that it's a finalized build. And let's head over and start patching it in. Uh, we need a thermo facility. That's probably not in the train right now. Surprisingly, no leftovers in here either. Where do we usually put them? Here we go. Here it comes. And we'll need some plating. Uh, we'll need enough plating that maybe I can't just carry it without emptying my bags right now. So let's go over here. Where's the rest of that going? Ah, gamma ray detectors. Much neater than the mess that we had for solar panels before. Well, it was a bit of a mess, especially because it was a uh, kind of part of the mall by accident. Let's get rid of that. Whatever this is. Okay. Did we turn this off? We did. Um, we can get rid of the inserters. Come to think of it, I guess this water's going to run out pretty quickly. Yeah, why don't we let it empty? And I think the lubricant that's already in the pipes is probably... Ah, uh, whatever. We can wait just a little bit. It's already down to 175k. For some reason, the left side is already empty. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I doubt if that's going to be any fast. I guess it is. Gonna be a bit faster. Alright, we've already gone through 35%. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you're gonna stay in exactly the same spot. The rest of you can get deconstructed. Do I care about 14k contaminated bio sludge? Probably not. Not enough to go to the trouble of salvaging it. And we're going to have some problems with our construction bots in a minute, but this is still a bit easier, I think. Theoretically. Oh, we're empty already. Nice. Alright. Uh, there's still a bit of cosmic water up here. We should probably delete this in the right order. There we go. And just have the last of that removed. A 
Okay. We need some plating up here. Um, it's going to be right about there at the very least. And I don't think I have any of these on me. Yeah, this is going to go... Oh, that's convenient. That's very convenient, actually. No, it doesn't actually fit like that. It would have been. How much is left here? Only 54k. Well, let's just pump it in here. That'll take like a second, because it's from one big container to another. So then we get rid of it. Whoops. That's fine. Get rid of this. And I think we're about ready to place our blueprint. It should replace a bunch of the floor. Once more with feeling. Oh, this train's coming already. Stop, 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 stop. I mean, it's okay if another train or two comes, but I kind of want to make sure, like this, for example, it's going to bring too much lube. Go back to the depot. You don't have the lube yet. Fantastic. All right. So we just have to fix these hover box. Uh, somehow. Don't have any solar p panels that we need to place. Okay, that's already connected. Is it done? Are there not a couple of little details, easy to miss, but very important things not to break? Let's see our graph for cosmic water. Production. It was peaking at like 70k per minute. But now it is a very, 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 very steady 70k per minute. Cool. That'll do. I feel like there should be something missing over here. Can we switch this back on? I mean, there's some stuff left on the floor. There's some scaffolding we'd like to remove. Our bots are probably going to get stuck in a sec. But other than that... I can't see the functional issue that I feel like must exist by now. Feels weird. Let's just transport this up here. Probably should find more room in my inventory first. You're full though. Okay, go back home, and I'm sure you're going to be imbalanced with, like, split stacks and stuff, so let's empty you out. Same goes for you. Actually, this one will automatically get rid of everything except the scaffolding, plating, and bots, so that won't really be an issue. The human error of not finding human error. Yeah, I don't trust it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop.
You can you can see the pulse of this thing because of the pump here. Every time it finishes a recipe, there's a flash of contaminated cos uh, contaminated bio sludge in this pipe. I guess I could use even distray for this. What's the setting on it at the moment? Half a second, that's a little too fast. Let's crank it up to five seconds. And we're just going to set these to allow nothing. And then we're going to click drag these across here. And then in four more seconds, uh, it should all just pop in here. Although the fact that I used jetpack might... No, it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. And the cosmic water here is al already empty. Fantastic. All right. Much happier with that build. It was a little tricky to find a layout that worked with the extreme water throughput, but this is actually quite good. I'm very happy with that. And no doubt, our machines demanding cosmic water will be happy about it too. Look at that graph. Just straight back up to a flat line. Much better. I wonder how fast these pumps are going. Okay. Well... Overall, 2.89k per second on each side, but it flickers all the time. Right then. Oh, we already have a pickup here. A cosmic water. Fantastic. What should we fix next? I wonder how much of the old holmium solenoids have been consumed already. That's not it. I forget where I put them. Here they are. Uh, there's still solenoids on the belt. I guess that's not surprising. There's a lot of input here left to drain out. The result changes under observation, indeed. Did we get some more plate by now? Oh, we did. Uh, it looks like we're just getting started. Holmium cable, last hour. Uh, actually, we've been making some for 18 minutes. Although it's inconsistent so far. But yeah, we already have a lot of holmium solenoids here. I should probably... If I didn't already... Yeah, I, I should have uh, set the provide threshold... Oh, the priority. Provide priority much higher. Train limit? Don't need that. No path. What do you mean, no path? You're trying to go over here. Here. Ah. Oh. That would be the reason. Uh, could I get you to pick up from here instead, though? Nice. 
and then we'll get the construction train to place that piece of rail. Wait, what? Weren't you already on your way here? What? Confused now. Much confusion. Looks like everything's working. It doesn't feel right. There should be some little thing that needs fixing. But I guess... I guess we're fine. Maybe we'll find out the LTN settings are wrong down the line. Alright, what's next? What else do I wish was built better? I'm not really that fussed about this build. I mean, we could pretty it up and everything, but it's functional. Okay, how's our science doing? Where's the bottleneck? Still no bio 4. No SIG data. Okay, that I was not expecting. SIG data. There's plenty of SIG data. Oh. Somehow we broke the wiring. Well, that's not great. I can't remember why I would have removed the wiring from there. This one's making some deep space science prereqs. Oh yeah, yeah, I almost forgot. There's like... There's a piece of scaffolding over here. Where am I standing? Temporary storage I wanted to get rid of. Oh, here it is. It'd probably be better if I had more inventory space before I came here. Just gonna go over and shift C and hope for the best. Didn't do all the tags here yet either. Space injection data goes here. Uh, this one is warping. Let's see what, how much more of this we can pick up. One more trip. Well, it's, the swirly stuff is over here, right? Yeah. Uh... Space swirly things. Folding data. And this one is dilation. Uh, and that just leaves S data. Um, did we empty this out? No. Space dilation data. Also, I know I'm carrying some tesseracts. There we go. And 
fantastic. Lube train you cancelled needs new instructions? Uh, no, I think I sent it back to the LTN depot, where it'll get its schedule reset. No matter what schedule you've got uh, on a train, once it goes to an LTN depot, it's going to get wiped. So what's this? We should probably redo contaminated scrap. We could, we could probably do this with a lot less mess. It's really not a very high priority, though. Now, where's our bottleneck? It was bioscience. It was sig data. Sig data doesn't have a lot of storage. No, it, oh, there we go. There we go. Bioscience will be in motion shortly. Once again. Also, how are we doing for these outputs? Surprisingly bad for half of them. So what's the problem? Arcospheres? Oh, that's right. We sent a ship to get more Arcospheres. Let's deal with that now. Head back to the mall first. Because our new build takes quite a few Arcospheres to saturate in the worst case. So now it's in a position where the rebalancer can't do its job. Okay. Uh, it was, was it Dark Flare? I think it was Caltrops, right? Where's our ship? The Arcostrosity. Anchor to Caltrops. And we'll park it about here. Grab that one blueprint, if I can remember where it is. It should be under spaceships now. Spaceships. Uh, where the heck did I put it? There it is. This goes here. That is... I was going to say a suspiciously small number of construction bots. This time we won't get hit by meteors, surely. Taking their sweet time. Is that all the construction bots we have? We should probably bring more construction bots. We could fit like 19 stacks of them. Let's at least bump it up to 500 in case we do this again. Kind of wish they weren't focusing on the left side, to be honest. Because the right side is where we put our media defenses. Also, they're not being very thorough. Alright, I guess we'll peek in on them in a couple of minutes. Try not to forget about them this time. Only five prods left in here. 22... Ooh, 64 efficiencies. And we're somehow down to three speed modules. Uh, what's the problem? Efficiencies are going burr. 
Apparently we're out of dynamic emitters, even though... Shockingly, we're not having trouble keeping up with quantum processes anymore. Although you would think we were. We definitely are. Is this prioritized? It's below normal priority. Huh. Must be a different bottleneck. Dynamic emitters require particle stream. We've been starving for particle stream for a while since we broke a uh, chemical gel. So now we've got cosmic water again. We're out of petroleum again. Okay. Don't we have tons of petroleum on the ground? We do. We have ludicrous amounts of petroleum. So we probably... Probably want to crank up... Another... Another train to take this stuff upstairs. Alright. How about... Do I have a little... There it is. How about we make another fluid wagon right now? Oh, that's for short trains. Hmm. We could probably make this work. And then just move forward a bit. Move forward a bit more. Uh, move forward further still, please. The temp stop is not making a move that little bit forward. How about this then? There we go. Oh, there's our batteries, solar panels, and electric engines. And then... We just want to copy-paste the train that has this schedule. I thought one would be up here at the moment. Should have done it downstairs. I'm sure it'll be up here shortly. There's two trains running this particular lap. Maybe I shouldn't have put this all the way up here, but then... Okay, so the petroleum... And lubricant and such, such is close over here. But maybe it should have been put closer to the space elevator. We could always put a space elevator over here. That would certainly speed things up a bit. I don't think I have a way to copy the settings from this train across surfaces. Here we go. Copy. So is the logistic chests on the bulk unloaders a built-in feature or another mod? Uh, one sec. Right, that should be good to go. It, it, it's going already. That's actually fine. Uh, logistic chests on the bulk rail loaders. Do you mean the way I've just got them connected to them? Where's an example? What, well, kind of like how this chest is... The bulk rail loaders are picking up from this chest? That's just bulk rail loader. Welcome in, War Striker. Yeah, it's basically... If I place a chest on the corner... Um, it'll automatically, like, be connected to this thing with invisible inserters. Uh, and depending on if it's a loader or unloader station, it'll take or put items directly in the chest. With absolutely no discrimination is the only downside. So it's good for just, like, a single item type. All right, let's check in on our ship. Fantastic. Uh, spaceships. Arco launchers. 
Maybe I should split this blueprint so that we could focus on placing our defenses first. I forget if I upgraded, uh, updated the blueprint in any way to try and make sure that we don't prematurely launch any of these. Do it all in sync. Where's our ammo? We've already got it. We're just charging. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I could have done a pattern whereby there's 25 rocket silos and 25 media defenses on each side. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Why are you not loading? Oh, I see. Okay, so you can put in the space probe rockets already, but we'll wait until all of these recipes are maxed out for the first one. Before we allow the first launch. So I guess we... We don't really need to forbid the space probe rockets in the first place, it should just be the Argosphere collectors. Sirens go burr. Inri, Inri, welcome in. What seems to be the problem? My ears? Is it that loud? I can see the vault. What? Why are you launching? What? Bruh. This must have been... No, how did that even happen? Bruh. Why? I don't understand anything. Now it's going to mess up the last set of launches. I don't understand how... Was the inserter already trying to insert the Arcosphere Collector when it... That shouldn't happen. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Correct. Accurate. Feels bad. We haven't even finished charging the media defenses. That's kind of surprising. So I'm pretty sure I have to intervene to get the, like, the last 49 rockets launched out of 500 because of that. But the rest of them should all launch in sync. Welcome in, Chrono. Okay. You may now insert Arcosphere Collectors. Not sure how this one managed it before that.
fantastic. It's beautiful, it is. Of course, I had to slide back the volume to save you guys. Uh, I think the wires are not connected, but the chests are already been provided. Yeah, there is a moment where that happens, but it should only be able to put in space probe rockets because the first recipe hasn't finished during that time. I really don't understand how... Like, literally, the it, it, it's like it inserted a space an Arcosphere Collector before the first recipe was finished on that silo. But anyway, uh, those will all repeat. Um, basically, it looks for 50 space probes or 50 Arcosphere Collectors in all of these chests before they stop being blacklisted um, on the filter inserters. So then they'll all insert simultaneously. And we'll come back and I imagine there'll be 49 rockets that haven't been launched. Um, the last set of them. Either that or somehow it'll finish launching all of them. I mean, I could just, you know, switch off the filters. Why not? Why no? Wait, wait, wait. There is a reason for that. I forgot. Oh god, the volume. Probe. I think it might get stuck if I don't do this. Much sooner. Because we'll end up with, like, space probe rockets over here and Argosphere collectors over here or something. That was cool, thank you. Boss Tradum, welcome in. Tradimus. And launch. Fantastic. Alright, we'll let that run and come back and check on it a bit later. Now what should we work on in the meantime? How's our bottleneck? Probably still looking for bioscience because it hasn't caught up with a train load yet. It is running though. Cool, cool, cool. We're actually more than halfway to our next load of bioscience. And we've got about uh, 12 or 13,000. That's ignoring productivity bonus. We would need 12 or 13,000 packs before we finish this research. But we get plus 185% productivity on the Singularity Lab. So really we need like a third of that. A little bit more. Alright, which old build displeases us today? What needs fixing? Or just improving? I haven't made that many deep supercomputers. Uh, they only need Naquium processors. Have I, like, disabled the, uh... Request for the No, there was no automation of this. I was just, like, manually bringing over Naquium processors. Because we're not going to need that many deep supercomputers for the, the entire playthrough. Um, we could maybe revisit, like, how many computers do we actually need for universal simulation? Or fixing junk data cards? I wonder how many uh, SIG datas we'll actually need, though. Oh, that's still only 2.2 .2 per second, because tier 6 modules. So really, we're looking at... Oh, this is 1 to 1. Okay, cool. 
So this is like 12 per second. It's probably like 12 per second for each type of science. We're not going to be consuming every type of science simultaneously, continuously. How fast is this at the moment? Nine per second. Significant data, 50 hours, has been like 76 per minute. If we assume at least double that. Deep supercomputer. Uh, universal sim. Max out. That's a lot of module slots. Yeah, this is why we're not going to need as many, um, as many computers as we used to use. Uh, wide beacon 2. Assuming we even need that, we might even use a mini beacon. Give us some power. Uh, more speed. Some efficiency. 3,000. 16 plus 200. Okay, minus 80% is still 2 megawatt. But how fast does this go? 3.375 per second by itself. So three of these is faster than our current build. That's kind of neat. Maybe we could do a direct insertion build instead of sushi. Not that sushi isn't cool, but I'm sure it costs more UPS. And we wouldn't have to do all this sorting. So it really is just four multicolored things and blew it in. Two types of data card out. Hmm. I'm not averse to building a couple of builds for this. If it means we can do a nice little compact one. Well, I was really just sort of thinking out loud about this, but I guess we're doing this now. Seventy-eight... Uh, how big are these? Five by five? So we could probably do... Well, we can't just do direct insertion from one station to the other because there's a junk output. But theoretically, we could do it kind of like this. Put the thermo fluid over here. And that's not the right pipe. And just pick this up like so. And since this one can consume from both sides, imbalance shouldn't be an issue. And then for the output, I wonder... If we could just do it something like this, actually. That might actually be pretty straightforward. Building out loud, indeed. Uh, so something like this. And... No matter which side. We'll do both of the junks, the junk outputs on the same side. But regardless, we're not going to be able to fit a pump on this side. It's not going to connect because of the curve, but it will fit over here, as you can see from the yellow predictor. So we should be able to simply connect like that. 
for the 25 degree thermo fluid output. It goes through it pretty slowly, even with maxed out modules, right? 10 per second, that's nothing. And there's no way we're squeezing in a mini beacon. No, the, the buildings are too big anyway. Unless we do like a circle around it. But I like this better. Even though these can fit individually a lot of modules, that is a relatively small amount of modules for what may be the only build we ever need for this. Also, we could have a hell of a lot more storage. Well, actually, no. We need it to be accessible to short trains. Hmm. Hmm. That actually kind of complicates things if we're trying to keep this nice and succinct. Also, uh, we need to get the blank cards out with filters. That kind of ruins the whole thing. I mean, wait, where's, where's the underground? Not sure why I'm using deep space belts. I'm sure we don't need them. 26 blanks per second. Okay, maybe, maybe, kind of. If we filtered the belt instead of using filtered loaders. That might be the way to go, actually. A little bit more than half a blue belt or white belt. With blank data cards. We can output everything unconditionally like this. And then just run it through a filter splitter. I guess like this. And then push from the... Let's put this over here so it's easier to read. Push from the back to the front, limit the front to a hundred stacks, fifty, I mean. And down this side, just do it like this. That was surprisingly easy. Alright, so SIG data on this side. That is pretty much definitely what we're going to go with. I don't see why I wouldn't. Like it's about time to finish the stream for today, though. Starting to feel a little bit healthier. Maybe I can actually get back to full-length stream soon. Okay. It's a little hard to see the belts there. Let's just confirm that they're in the right spot. We do need... Oh, we're already doing this. Well, no. That's half true. We do need to only request like a train load and a half of each uh, solid. We can fit six train loads between two bulk rail unloaders. Even though there are the side machines that are only going to take from one side, I don't think it's going to get imbalanced. And certainly not imbalanced enough to end up with a train just stuck here, and then the whole thing doesn't work. Probably. So we only need to make three of these things? How many modules do we need? 24 plus, like, 9 and 11. I don't think we've got that many speeds right now. It used to be easy to make speed modules, but uh, things have flipped a bit. 
Speed Module 8 seems to be the problem at the moment. Speed Module 8 wants Speed Module 7, wants 6, wants 5. Okay, where? Immersite Im Crystal. It's because our spaceships have stopped. Normally, we would take Immersite Crystal for granted. It's because we broke our supply of uh, antimatter. I don't know, it feels kind of strange. Wait, 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 wait. Raw Immersite is still being trashed. There's a million Immersite Crystal here. What? What? Why? Hold on. Our Immersite Crystal gets dropped off over here. But it is here. The bots are not keeping up? Huh. Might have to reshape this a little bit. Or just throw more bots at it. Then they start crashing. Can't say I was expecting that bottleneck. Hmm. We do have like 36 speed eights waiting to go upstairs here as well. Once we've got something greater than 50, it'll go upstairs. Alright, well, uh, maybe we'll... I don't know... Maybe we'll, like... Maybe we'll do something similar to what we did here, where we built stuff over to a more conveniently located active provider chest. And put the storages next to the things that consume them. Definitely needs a bit of a rethink, apparently. Not the bottleneck I was expecting, though. How's our antimatter doing before we go? It's being made. That's a relief. Okay, so there's plenty of particle stream now. We're just playing catch up. Fantastic. Antimatter production has been a flat line for like 15 minutes almost. That's that's looking a little bit better. Okay. Let's give it a save real quick. Sitting on the teleporter throne. And start looking around for someone to raid. Mucky? Hmm. I haven't raided Mucky in ages, and he dropped in recently. Normally I'd look for SEK too, but... Let's say hello. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out total. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, Evil Plot, Turtle, Inua, Waffle, Inri Inri, Bostrad, everyone else including all you lovely Lurkids, Dodger, see you again next time. I forgot to type in raid already. And there's like an arbitrary little timer. So now we just... Now we just have awkward prolonged eye contact. Mention what happened with the, uh, with the launch, just in case it's a spoiler and you want to watch. Thank you.